welcome back to the X Lounge. In this video, we have a review of AMT Volkswagen. Uh, it says 1971 on it. I don't know if this is a 1971 model Volkswagen or not. It's kit number AMT 1284M12. It's titled the Volkswagen Superbug Gasser. I have no idea what year the vehicle is. I guess it's 71, but they're talking about in 1971, in the midst of a shifting cultural landscape, Coca-Cola debuted a groundbreaking commercial featuring young people on a hilltop in Italy, teaching the world to sing in perfect harmony. With that same optimistic voice, Coca-Cola presents the 1971 Unity Collection. It is a look at the past and a glimpse into the future with warmth togetherness, and hopeful spirit. That's what it says on the side of the box here. Uh, just a bunch of hippie stuff. So, I don't know. I bought it because it's a Volkswagen. I don't care about the rest of that. Anyhow, so here's what's included. Uh, you can see that in the store, though. What I'm going to do is open it up. And behold, chrome! Am I gonna leave this here? I'm gonna get that out of my way. Okay, first up is chrome. Doesn't look too bad. Ooh, it's got Kregers. I don't know if they'll make it on a Volkswagen, but I do like to have them for other stuff. Uh, so there's some looks like some deep set. Uh, I don't know. I guess those are dog dog dish or dog bowl caps. Got some chrome engine parts. I don't know that I've ever uh, built a Volkswagen engine. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's the grill for something. I guess we'll find out in the instructions. Okay, I'll do that later. Uh, there's one metal axle. Here's the window glass. There's ordinary, ordinary or clear, no color. And then this is slightly green, kind of like a Coke bottle. I like that. Are all the Coke kits like this? That's pretty cool. I like it. It, uh, it actually makes me almost want to do it in the Coke livery. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Here's the body. Molded in yellow. It's all yellow. Uh, okay. Uh, it looks kind of stubby. Doesn't it look stubby? Is that... Is that normal? Look how... Look how it looks squashed this way. I don't know. I'm not much into Volkswagen, so I don't know. I mean, I like them, but... Uh, I'm not I'm not that familiar with them. But anyhow, detail looks good. I like that it's got the uh, in this case the trunk lid opens. When I was in the army, a buddy of mine had one of these. And it caught fire one day because we had put a poncho, just thrown it in the trunk there, and it had come in contact with the with the fuses. Luckily, we caught it in time, and it didn't burn to the ground. Okay, so here's some parts in a bag. Uh, there's some big plastic wheels, some Baja looking stuff. These are for pretty fine molds here. They don't look bad at all. There's some tiny little seats. Are we, is this 25th scale? Something's fishy here. Something, 
something's going on. It doesn't say what scale it is. Oh. It is a mystery. The box does not say what scale it is. I just assumed it was 125th or 4th. Hmm. Now I'm going to have to research that. I mean, everything. I mean, it kind of looks 25th scale. But those seats, though, they're small. The dashboard looks okay. Meaning 25th scale. Uh, I see little numbers on the dashboard. That's awesome. I always like the Volkswagen dash just plain. It just flat. It just flat. All right, so there's the hood. It's got texture on the underside, but there are push marks there that you'd have to uh, deal with. I guess that's hinges for the for the hood and the trunk. A couple pipes there. Uh, I don't know what that is. I guess that's an antenna. An antenna. Ooh, red line tires. Red line tires and some that are for the back that are a little bit wider, but they are not red lined. All right. Here's some slicks. These are red lined on both sides. Awesome. Here's another bag of parts. got the trunk lid. I guess that's a part of a roll cage. A couple racing uh, doodads. I guess that's the frame. There's the floor pan. pan. A couple of shocks. Uh, here's something. What's this? Some kind of a fixed a backdrop. Ah, oh, it's got a special Coca-Cola uh, I don't know what this is. Some kind of a backdrop. Let's look at the decals and then we'll check out the instructions. I'm anticipating a whole lot of flowers. Okay, so here's the decals. Uh, plenty of 1960s era looking stuff uh, and lots of coca-cola stuff a couple license plates I don't see any uh, dashboard instruments but the decals look good and there's also a couple of AMT Sponsorship type decals there. All right, to the instructions. There's the engine. And then there's the other stuff for the engine. Some tires. There's those big, gnarly looking uh, dune tires. Ah. That looks almost like a go-kart. Hmm, this is a curious vehicle. So this is not stock in any way. This is only... This is only drag, dune, or dune buggy. Buggy de dune. And this is some kind of a backdrop that you can display. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, okay, this is like a little, you, you build that up and you put your finished model in there and take a picture of it. I gotta focus. This says shortened beetle body. That's why it looks a little stubby. 
Okay, so that answers that question. Uh, my other question is, what scale is it? I guess it's 25. I'll, I'll do a little bit of research and I'll add it into the description. A fun little kit from AMT. Should build up to be a tight little vehicle. I like the whimsical type stuff. And uh, this certainly falls into that category. Great detail from what I could see. Uh, I assume that everything... Uh, pretty good detail. I'm anxious to build up uh, that Volkswagen engine. Never done that before. Should be a little bit of fun. Uh, as usual, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would like. Hit that notification button and you will be alerted when my next video comes out. Party.